good money. So um, I need to see where I am now. It's oh, <laughs> let's do that first. Uh, so Snoopy Pixie Nest next. God, I can't speak already this morning. Um, I think we left it kind of stuck on the translations, uh, well, locales for dates. So uh, we've got to the point where we have this ability to say, OK, um, when I'm expanding a date uh, within a snippet, when you're applying a snippet and you say, hey, put a date here, um, we can uh, specify the short date um, format, but um, I need to find a way of automatically overriding the default one. So this was a test here where I was specifying um, UK format. Um, but now I need to find a way of actually saying, OK, this current user wants North American or UK or whatever country's uh, format of date. Um, and I have, I think I've still got a whole bunch of tabs open from when I was looking on the last video. Um, think we got to the point where maybe this one is going to help. So the issue we got is um, there's many uh, locales. There's, you know, what stars you've got, EN, uh, GB and US and various other forms of um, English. And then you've got or, various other languages and all their locales as well. Um, and with this um, with the, this kind of popular um, locales thing uh, playground let's have a look at the example here. Uh, you have to specify, you have to know up front which locales you're going to support, um, which is okay when you're doing translation, um, because you need to have people do translations of these strings, and um, so they can, you know, say, okay, your app now supports this translation, this language, um, but if you really just want to be able to um, switch date formats. Um, you should really be able to kind of pick that from the environment um, and then go for it. Um, so I don't really want to be doing this kind of thing to pick up a translation uh, which gives me the dates, the locales to use. There's apparently this, uh, which one is it? Locales compressed. Um, and I need to see how to use it. Because I think I mentioned that in the here, did I? Yeah, there we go. I need to find a way of using that. So I don't know. Hasn't got any examples there. Oh, I've got a test, but is that oh, I got EN there?
Okay, so this is interesting. So they've got effectively an anonymous function, well, in line. Um, for two translators, translator one and two. So they're doing a test. Uh, where are they going to start using it then? Uh, what's the function called? Assert same. So here they're doing Oh, okay. So this is like a All right, okay. I'm not quite sure how that does. Hmm. Just, just testing and get a translator really, because they've already got parsing and translate as well. And it's interesting that they're using this up here. So does it actually not like fully compress down to the counts? It might be useful. So what it looks like I can do is if I can do get translator for some language, well, like how. I should, in theory, from the looks of things, just be able to then use the date short on my date. And if I find, if I'm passing in today, um, the default date, work. Might work. Let's, um, let's have a quick look at the docs in the package. See what they've got. Get translator. Hmm. That's it. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, we'll see what we can what we can get. All right, so we'll just grab that. Let's give it a go. Um, so let's just 
stick in here. I should probably do a um, go get actually. Um, It might be the wrong place to do it. Yeah, probably should have done it in the... Demon, because do I need it at top level? No, the daemon's going to be running on the desktop and it's going to have all the power for doing any date stuff. Don't think this CLI or GUI need to do it. So that was probably a bad move there. Well, it's not terrible. If it's not used, it'll come out, I guess. Um, let's clean that up. Carry on. Okay. What we'll do is now it's cached we should be okay i should be able to um we'll be able to use it in a minute um okay let's do this then so I need to build a date and then grab the spec for it. And I do need to do it early as well because we don't know for sure what's going to be in the string. I can't just wait. It could be used over and over again, so I need to do it once and then use it. Uh, okay. So we'll have um, format date. It's equal to now in in the example, well, not the example, the test. I just do a time pass. Um, 
Why has it got two? Weird. I don't know what that means. Let's try. Um, so we're going to get back there by looks things. I'm going to do time dot pass. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I can use presumably now I need to find out what the actual default date is going on. Including time. Can't remember what it is now. Galang uh, default date. I'm sure that'll come up with something. No. Uh, date what? Something like that. Okay. Ooh. Right, so it's three, four, five. And everything else is zeros, apparently. Right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, okay. With our being there. That's good to remember that actually. <laughs> so it's month, day, hour, minute, second, three, four, five. Okay, right, we'll use that. Uh, so we want row three, four, row five, and we're going to just duplicate that. Why is that complaining then? What did I do wrong here?
All right, so in theory, Two thousand six, O one, O two, O three, O four, O five. So that should be okay. I should get a date. Um, and then I need to do. interesting. Last time I did that grip, I came up with a whole raft of stuff. Now I'm going to get them. wonder what I'd done. All right, okay, I'll say time. Yeah. Okay, so... I don't know whether that is always going to be set. Well, let's start with that. Um, What I think I'll do is I'll get LC time. And if that doesn't come back with anything, I'll just drop back to Lang. And if that doesn't come back with anything, We'll just not do it at all. And we'll see how that goes. So... This is all stuff that possibly I should be doing very early on. And then passing this in to the expand date. But for the time being, it's good here. Um, so let's do this. Get env, and we'll do lc time. If lang dot length. Well, if it's less than two, then we know we haven't got anything. Uh, and we're going to have another stab. So we'll go uh, lang 
is equal to OS. Get env. Bang. That's right, isn't it? Then what we'll do, we'll do the same again. In reverse. So we'll do right if the lang is greater than one. We are gonna do all of that. But this Needs to happen no matter what. Because we're going to use that later on. So we'll let it build and be set as the default. And then we decide whether we're going to adorn it with a new X. So, so the format date. is going to be passed we are going to Translator is equal to um, what was the short form? Oh, it's just locales compressed, isn't it? Get translator. Okay. Oop. And then that's going to be the lang. Uh, but does that potentially have an error? No, it could be nil. Okay. Mm, it's getting messy now. Um, so let's save that and see if it does a fix up. to 
go do a go get am I in the right place now it's not coming through Take that, do that here, there we go, All right, so we need to I'm going to have to refactor this later. So we now have a Translator, format, date, short, on the format, date, set it. and pray because I don't know <laughs> how I don't know if that's going to work but we'll give it a go okay so let's give it a test um, so at the moment I'm hard coding this test here which is day month year because that's where I am but I'll have to update this later um it's basically this test again uh, but i'm hard coded it to my date format because it's just using the default date okay let's see what happens Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound healthy. I should bump up the uh right here. It passed. Well that's scary. Alright, let's make it fail. Um so if I switch this around to the American format where I'm not oh, make this clearer still passes. Did I save it? Oh, that'll be because I'm testing the wrong thing. Ooh. Right. Let's um, change. 
change to internal manager because that's where the placeholders are right so let's see fail pass oh. so if i switch this back it's gonna fail is it yeah Okay, so I expected this, but got this at line 61, uh, which is this test here. So it's not doing what I hope it to do. Let's... Um, Let's put a break on here and we will run these tests and see what happens in debug. So this is the first time round um, and if I step over, that's F7, isn't it? No, F8. So I've got a language there. I'm going to come in, try and get a translator, which is nil. Okay, so it doesn't like that. I think I might have an idea on that one. What if it's a case that you can't have UTF-8 stuff on the end? So what we'll do Yes, we'll do it in here if we've got something. We will do um lang is equal to I'm trying to think of what I've got a prefix thing somewhere in here already haven't I trim prefix Uh, maybe just a split. Yeah, I'll do a split. And take the first part. With a dot as the thing. So what we'll do is we'll do um, 
Home parts is uh, what was it? Strings. Split lang dot and lang is now lang parts Uh, one. That's not right, is it? I never get this right. Why can't I do that? Oh yeah. But why is that not working? Oh. I do no. I keep forgetting how there is like a super easy way to get a string from a byte. Uh, oh, it's a slice. I keep forgetting what it is. Well, that's one way of doing it, I suppose. Just do that for the time being. I need to look into that because there's a bunch of different ways. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to go horribly wrong. Um, so let's give it a quick test. Oh. I'm going to debug again actually. Okay, so we have VNGB, skip over that, come in here, lang parts is ENGB and UTF-8, we now have lang of ENGB, which is good, and translator, 
is something now. That's good. So it was also you just didn't like having the extra stuff. So we can get a format date, which is correct. Uh, from that, we get a day, month, year, date as a string, which is correct. 0201 2006 day, month, year. Okay. Let's finish, let's let it run. And where's my output? Okay. Let's do it again here. Oh yeah, I made that fail on purpose. No, he didn't. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, where did it fail? 48. That's correct. Okay, so I'm doing the right thing now, but this raw string of time here is using American format as the expected, which is not correct here. So, so we now have a failing test, which is actually showing that we're doing the right thing. Okay. Um, how do we combat this? I still use like We can Yeah, so This is an interesting problem here We need to There's a different come there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We could do the sort of date lang thing early. I'll pass that in with the date. Which is probably the best way to do it. So we could do all that stuff up front, bar the actual setting. We need to rename that day, month, year thing. Mm 
We'll call that um, X format. Actually, no, we won't, because that doesn't really make a lot of sense. We'll call that um, short date format because we also need to do the same thing. time so let's do that while we're here Short time format? That doesn't make sense, does it? What is the... Uh... Format... Where is time? Short... Okay. Let's do a couple of tests for that in a minute. Uh, okay. Oh. And that is a capital X. All right, so for the tests, we need to do some wibbly wobbly stuff here as well. We need to. Kinda have to mimic all that, but I don't really want to. What we can do What we can do here then is set the date That's a bit of a pain, actually. I kind of have to, you know, they reproduce all that stuff. Or I do need to pass in the expected format to expand body or expand date, which I could do instead. Hmm. I 
kind of don't want to have to start passing around translators. Not specific ones for date time. Probably would make it a little bit use more usable. The good thing about the way it's working at the moment is that it's runtime. So, as in like when you're passing the date. If I were to do all this kind of stuff early in the daemon, and someone switches their formatting, they were like, oops, I need to switch from US to UK or whatever, it wouldn't be picked up unless you kind of bounced it in the daemon or something. So doing it here is good. also tricky for testing. Um. Okay, let's do So need to test time. I guess time's pretty... I think we're lucky there. It might not break for the moment, but it might in the future. All right, I think what we're going to have to do is, I don't really want to, but I think I have to pass in the translator. At least an optional one.
can't think of a way around it. There's no way. I need to know up front for the test what format I'm going to get. And at runtime, Unless... Unless I just override the uh, environment variables. Is there uh, is there an onset? I've got set M. Set F. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's do that. Let's get sneaky here. Um, we will. We will grab some stuff. So we'll do. LC time is equal to OS get env LC time. We'll do lang So the two that we care about. So that's them saved for later. Um, and then we are going to um, oh, does it have a return? Okay, uh, we don't care about it and we're going to do actually that's probably an equals is it? Um, OS actually we do care because if we can't do it we're in trouble Okay, OS on set env LC time Let's make sure it isn't an error, so it is no error. error. Set env Do that again. Put the line as well. Okay. Control invars that determine date time formats. Okay. And what we'll do now, so that means in theory, now that we've unset those two, that should work. 
because it will default to the American style um, in my code. And then the American style does this. And then down here, I want my code to now start using UK style here. So we'll do I need to just clean up as well here, just in case. So, I need to do something like this. So, I'll take those three. And all I will do I'll see time string and bang string. So, hmm. Let's take the same time and right. And presumably, that means I've got an error of response. Yeah, okay. Don't care about it. <laughs> Can do nothing. Yep, don't want to do that. Okay. Right. So this means I'm just cleaning up after myself here. So no matter what, it returns to these two originals when I leave here, so it doesn't affect any other tests. Hopefully. Um, and then I'm unsetting them here. And then I'm going to reset them. So, right, American style, UK style here we want. So, uh, I do care about the error here. So, uh, set him. We will start with the one we hope for, and now I'm going to do en gb here in this case. And then we'll look at lang next, because that's the fallback. So we'll do that. There's no error. Set him. Now I'll see time. Uh, 
and then Shall we just do that? I kind of like that format a bit better, I think. Then we do it all again. But we are going to. First of all, on set env, and set the language. So now we're using the fullback. Uh, to do the same thing, basically. I'm just reinforcing it there. That should work. And then just in case, just in case. So if, say, the library ever gets fixed up and suddenly starts using um, accounts we will also do the test here where we use month first and then I know that something's gone wrong for sure okay All right, let's see what this does. So in theory, we're going to be using UK from now on. But from... There. Should I clean up? Before moving on. All the rest of it is very specific formats. So the default date formats do not matter. Although, I'm not testing any wordy dates uh, like month and stuff yet. That might cause problems. Quite difficult to test. Okay, so I think I'll leave a NGB so it's Known. Okay. 
Let's give that a quick test. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That is right. That is correct. This format with, yeah, that is right. I thought it was a bit weird because we don't normally in the UK, we don't normally do super short years. Um, you rarely write something like that. You don't, you do tend to write that. So that is good. That's actually caught me out. So I need to, right here, where's the full year? All right, okay. That is a short time. Yes, what's going on there? Uh, now I need to look at... So what is when you look at time not date rather So that is definitely should I be using short time there? Does not have the format stuff in it. No. Is that locales?
Let's form a medium. Let's find out, see what we get back. Does it have fur? Uh, doesn't tell you. Okay. Not sure if that's right or wrong at the moment. Oh. I do have... Do have an existing thing though. Let's have a look. What did I get for that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I am expecting seconds, although the date is short. Like super short and doesn't have a year in it. Which is interesting. Hmm. Not sure what I can do about that. There is no way of overriding. I kind of prefer having the full year in it as well, so should I leave it like that? I'm going to leave it as is for the moment and then we'll see. I might have to come back to that. Because at the moment it's good though. It gets me past where I want to be. So I've got date working as it in theory kind of should. Let's see. Um, what we will do is make clean and make and oh, actually. Make clean or make tidy. Just to make sure. Then I make. Then I make test. Let's do verbose. All passing. Okay.
Sounds good. Uh, so let's give it a quick test. So we'll um, into the CLI. Get the daemon up and running. And expand. Uh, have I got a got a DT calc? Yeah. Okay, so this is where we're getting this slightly different format, which I'm okay with, but that might bite me later. We'll see. Uh, but we're getting the correct times, got the correct date format for me. Um, wordage is okay. Uh, all the calculations are good. Yep, I think we're good. Right, let's wrap this one up and say done. And then I can move on to other stuff in another session. Because I should start my week. Um, let's say... Dates and times. Now use correct default format from Macau. In theory, uh, yeah, say date and time let's hold us now use correct default format from the cow yeah that do Well, that was good. Um, so that means I can get rid of all these things, all these tabs that I've been holding on to for like days and days now, which is not like me. I'll get rid of all of those. And I can close this off. Let's just refresh it and make sure there's no tokeny thing there. Uh, yeah, I really need to start using the um, commit thing to close this off automatically. Uh, yeah, done. Actually, that is it fixed. Let's say, um, correct. Formats. Substituted in for X and X based on uses like how in theory.
Okay. So the next big one is auto expand. Um, I do have to do things like update as well, but I'm sure we'll get to that at some point. That might come along as part of doing, say, UI stuff or something. Um, might force it in then. Um, but the biggie that we've got left is auto expand for the CLI. So that'll probably be what I tackle next, I think. Um, that's going to be a tricky one. Uh, but we'll see. Um, okay. Close it off. Uh, so uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, and you take care. Bye.